Let's have a look at the Node IPC malware and see how it works on OpenBSD. For those of you who do not know by now what the Node IPC is, it's an inter-process communication that is used in Node.js. And the author of the Node IPC has decided to turn it to a malware due to what is going on between Russia and Ukraine. So simply speaking, certain version of the node IPC detects the uh, user IP address and if, it's, if the user is connected from Russia or Belarus, it is deleting the hard drive content with the love emoji. For those who are not connected from Russia or Belarus, simply speaking, they get a file on their their desktop directory containing a peaceful messages and a stop war and stuff like that. Fortunately, the versions that were deleting files from hard drive have been removed from NPM repository. And those versions uh, were 922, 1011 and 1012. But the version 11 is still, they contain some stuff uh, related to file creation on desktop and so on. I do not have access to the bad versions. So let's say I have to just pull the latest version, version 11 uh, for this test. But before that, we can have a look at how it was detecting the IP address and how the file deletion was working. So it's simply called the IP geolocation uh, REST API. Irony is the API key here. I'm not sure whether uh, it is working still or no. And then if it's coming from Russia or Belarus, it gets all the files under the current directory, parent directory, and two directories up, plus root directory and it starts removing the stuff here as you can see it gets all the files goes through the files and remove the things and the this code has been removed actually from the node ipc repository and even the history of it has been overwritten i'm assuming partly because of the fact that many people didn't like it and on top of it uh, creating a malware according to the US, uh, I think laws is something that is illegal and probably gets the person in jail or at least into some uh, troubles. So this is the, the code that, that, that was compressed to make it actually not very detectable. And yeah, we can run the, the latest version that is let's say less harmful or totally actually harmless in my opinion and but uh, still is a bit invasive I would say um, so here I created a simple uh, node.js project and let me show you the uh, the application so it's a express application and here it imports the uh, node IPC I'm going simply to comment it for now because I want to compare the behavior before using the node IPC and after using the node IPC. So if I run the application, it simply just says that it's listening to port 3000, something expected totally. And now I'm going to enable the, the import line and run the application again. And it creates a, it prints out a heart emoji now. So let's see whether it's creating a, any file or no. As you may have guessed already, I do not have a desktop directory. So it is not creating a desktop directory. And so that this is good at least because if there is no desktop directory, it doesn't do anything. Now I'm going to create a desktop directory and run the application again and let's see whether we have anything now or 
not okay we have it so now the file is created so let's check the content of it and there is no content is zero bytes so it is working partially if you have a desktop directory uh, but uh, still the file content is empty now i'm going to actually remove this desktop directory and actually subs and instead create a desktop directory with the lowercase d if i can type okay okay yeah and run the application again and check see whether we have anything or no okay we do not have anything so it's working only if if the desktop directory is the, the name is with the capital d so we can look into the uh, node ipc and see how it basically creates the file or things like that so all the dependency for this application is stored under node modules so if I go here and I go to the node IPC directory and look into the package JSON, that's the first place that we should look into it because it may create from it may bring things from outside. And Argus is right. It basically imports a library called piece not war. So I'm assuming that library is responsible for creating a file on their desktop directory and populate it with certain messages. But here we should actually also import it somewhere. As you can see, so it's importing here. So since uh, node IPC is dependent on the piece not for package, we should have the piece not for under the node, mo node module as well and yes we have it so let me go to that directory and inspect the code very quickly so this is the piece not war uh, main file as you can see the desktop is a cap the first letter is capitalized and also onedrive onedrive desktop which is a microsoft onedrive so it's not gonna work on it 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 will work only on windows and later you see it checks if the file doesn't exist it creates and if it exists it doesn't create anymore okay and it, and on windows the poor windows users they are going to get three files actually uh, one on their desktop one on onedrive desktop one on the OneDrive, which is pretty weird because uh, if your OneDrive is connected to uh, your OneDrive directory on your desktop, if it's connected to your OneDrive account, uh, then this file would be synced automatically, which is not something that I like personally. Under desktop, I can accept it more, but uploading a stuff or getting synced to my uh, to my OneDrive or Dropbox kind of deal that's that's not cool in my opinion so the code is very simple but I'm just like wondering why it's not working on OpenBSD in my opinion it's not it has nothing to do with the security of the OpenBSD it has probably things to do with the with the version of the node.js or how it compiles from es6 to es5 or stuff like that and here also if we want to be fair to openbsd there is no way to detect uh, whether it's a malware or no because it simply creates a file and it's creating a file under the current user in a directory that user has that the user that is assigned to has access to modify do whatever however if this code this uh, the old code that was deleting the stuff from hard drive that should not work in any unix like operating system or at least partially won't work because 
if uh, it actually removes the stuff from root directory or root partition and usually uh, in Linux or Unix whether it is open BSD, free BSD, whatever a normal user cannot go simply modify things unless unless a person a user is stupid enough to run this uh, package stuff with the uh, with the root privilege or under the root directory in that case they are screwed actually that's all for this video and i hope you have enjoyed it bye